This is code.org, and let's see what we're doing. Write a method, choose response, that returns a response if a particular, if a parameter or user text contains a specific word. If user text contains dog or cat, respond with this. If user text contains any of these, tell me more about your family. Otherwise, respond with this. Oh, interesting. Okay. So let me head to documentation. Obviously, we're dealing with strings, given the lesson. And so I'm going to look at Java strings. All right. So we need to search for a word, right? We need to figure out if a particular word is appearing in a string. Well, we could do compare to, but that's more for letters, right? That's going to be good for alphabetizing. Uh, particularly in terms of uh, it compares Unicode values, so letters. Uh, equals, uh, or that could be good, but this is only if two strings are identical. Index of. The index of a method returns index of for the first occurrence of specified characters. So I could put in an A, uh, I could put in the word hello, and it looks for those exact characters in a string. If it exists, it's going to return uh, characters in a string, or a negative one if the specific characters is not found. So it will return the first occurrence of those characters, maybe if they start at index 6, it will say 6, or if they're not found at all, it will return a negative 1. This sounds perfect for hunting for something, like these words. So let's go ahead and call choose response method and print. Here we are. All right, so we need to know if any of these words appear. So I'm going to do an if. If uh, user text dot index of, and what words? Dog, right? If that exists, or, right, uh, user text dot index of cat. So if either of these are true, this is the or statement, meaning if this is true, cool. Or, so if this is false, the code will keep running and it says, all right, so this word's not in here, that's false, but it will still look at this. And if cat is there, by the way, cats are awful, I passionately hate them, dogs are the best, dogs are adorable, they love you, they're caring, dogs are great, cats not so much. I'm not sorry to my students, cats are awful. All right, so uh, this is true, or this is true. If either of these words appear, it will run the code in the if statement, which is exactly what we want. Because then we're going to say respond with, oh, I return a string. I am not writing that. Control C for copy. Command C if you're on a Mac. Um, I guess I'll have some type of return. Let's see. A string uh, result. Okay. And then uh, result would be equal to that big long thing. All right. Now else, right? So if that one's not true, else if. What else? Oh, they gave us a bunch of stuff here. Mother, father. I don't know. Mm. Guys, that is a lot. Fine. Uh, I could put them up here. Eh, I'm just going to put them all in here. All right. User text dot index of mother. Or I'm going to type all this out and then explain. All right, so what do I have? I have my first if, which I talked about. I have my else if, so if dog and cat don't appear, I then ask the computer, hey, does the user text have the word mother in it? What index? If it has father, what index? If it has sister, what index? If it has brother, what index? Because as long as it has it, is Ah, we have a problem. I also need greater than one, right? Because it can't just be negative one. That's an issue. Or greater than equal to zero. As long as it's not negative one. So I'm just going to actually do greater than negative one. As long as it's greater than negative one, then it's going to exist. So really, I should have that on all of these. This is getting really long. I could do a split line type of thing. I don't like how not readable this is, to be honest. Uh, but, pada. You could also have something like this, where you would do, you know, Boolean... Uh, mom and then have it equal to this and then you could uh you know greater than negative one so and i might say mom is here i have no idea and then down here i could say just else if this something like that i'm gonna keep it this way but you get the idea 
So I'm checking. If any of these are true, that means that word is present. If any of these are not negative one, that means one of these words is here and it's going to have this be the string. Otherwise, at all other times, so if none of these words are in there, it's going to do this. All right, now I need to run it. Is this static? It is not. Do they instantiate? Uh, if user, oh, well, it doesn't equal by. Okay. Oh, and we have a my chatbot dot choose response. That's what we're running. And let's give it a shot. Ah, right. Of course, I have to pass it the text. Minor details. Oh, and it starts with want input next. Oh, and it takes our first line here before going into the loop. And so we give it that text, then it's going to reassign it so we can type while we go. Bot is not the same thing as a box. What is your name? Dog. Oh, wait, can I say my actual name? Good, I don't want to be a dog. Kaiser. Hello, Kaiser. It's Mr. Kaiser. Don't do that, guys. What do you want to talk about, dog? Oh, well, that's, that's not great. Oh, I need to print this. So let me add that. That would be helpful. Print LN. Let's print the response right here. We could also just do... There we go. Tell me more about your pets, cat. I don't have a cat. Cats are awful. Tell me more about your pets. Well, I'm going to change the conversation to my brother because, you know, pets. Sorry, dude. Uh, tell me more about your family, sister. But, uh, bye. All right. So that works well. Index of is really powerful. You do want to make sure to implement this properly, right? But honestly, index of can really streamline this. It's a bit ugly. You might have Booleans up here, but cool. Onward.